After looking at how we change active to passive sentences, let's look at four more sentences in various tenses. We've got, my uncle is designing our new kitchen. The gardener has pruned the bushes. We will prosecute trespassers. And the police caught the thief last night. Let's have a look and see how we did. The original sentence here, my uncle is designing our new kitchen, should have changed to, our new kitchen is being designed by my uncle. A good way to start the analysis is to look at the tense this sentence is written in, which is the present continuous. We know that the auxiliary verb needs to stay in that tense, so it becomes being. The verb has changed to the past participle, and the object has moved into the subject position, and the subject is in the final position, resulting in, our new kitchen is being designed by my uncle. Now, the gardener has pruned the bushes. Again, we need to look at the tense, which is present perfect. Changing it to the passive voice, it becomes, the bushes have been pruned. And if we choose, we could add, by the gardener, although we don't have to, as it's not important. Again, it's the same tense, the present perfect, with have been. The main verb has switched to the past participle form. The object of the sentence has gone into the subject position, and the original subject has been added at the end. Next is, we will prosecute trespassers. This is in the future simple tense, which is reflected in will be. Prosecute has changed to prosecuted, which is the past participle, and the object has moved to the subject position. Because who will be doing the prosecuting is unimportant, there is no need to finish the sentence here. Finally, the police caught the thief last night, which is past simple. The object has moved to the subject position. We still have the past simple form of the verb to be, was. The main verb is now in the past participle form, and the sentence still ends with last night.